What is going on, everybody? Just the Savage here. Welcome back to another t to another video. Today we are going to be kickstarting our Terraria Calamity Mod Let's Plays video series, and it is so good to start a whole new series just after finishing our previous one. I've already started up a fresh new world with the mod installed. No other co no other content mods have been installed except have been activated except for the heroes mod which you can see down here uh, the n instant respawn mod because you know we can't live without that and also we have the boss checklist mod and yet another boss health bar mod installed all other mods have been disabled except for the calamity mod so this is the first modded terraria series on my channel that we are going to be starting today how have you guys been doing? I have been doing spectacular. Now that I'm finally getting to a series that I have been looking forward to doing for months. So, without further ado, let's get started with episode 1 of our Terraria Calamity mod Let's Play series. So, uh, yeah. taking a look at our inventory, we have nothing! <laughs> uh, because we just started up this world, and as you can tell, my cursor is changed to the colors of the Calamity mod. Look at it! It's so beautiful! Look at that! Uh, anyway, so, let's take a look at our starting gear, shall we? We have a Deadly Copper Short Sword, which is pretty good, a Zealous Copper Pickaxe, and a Ordinary Copper Axe. So, we're going to get started by cutting down some trees, and as you can tell by our character, he is a fish man. This is actually a vanity set that I put on him, because, you know, this is a brand new series. We're playing in a modded game, and we're playing a modded game, and I just want everything to be a little bit different this time. Uh, I want to explore more. I want to... I don't want to spawn everything in. I want to really explore and get down to the nitty gritty of this mod because, guys, this is one of the biggest content mods for Terraria and it's also one of the most popular. It adds in a ton of new weapons, armor, accessories, mobs, bosses, biomes, everything that you can possibly think that a mod could add into Terraria, it can do that. Uh, more materials, you got that. You, more bosses, you got that. Guys, this is going to go beyond Moon Lord. There are post-Moon Lord bosses in this mod. So, we have a lot to look forward to, and we are going to see this mod take place almost immediately. Uh, we're going to take care of this slime, and we're going to get started with uh, with getting some some gel for some torches, and we're going to start cutting down these trees so that we can start on our base. And also, guys, we have to mind the gap that I am right next to. We have to mind this gap because for some random reason, the game decided to spawn me in that crevice. So I had to use the Heroes mod to teleport up here. So, um... So yeah, we're going to have to mind the gap. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little creative and I'm going to build over that gap. I am going to make it so that our base will be over that gap so we don't have to worry about spawning down there. But of course, I am going to have to make a bed in order to do that. Um, but I can do that quite simply by finding some cobwebs. But I don't think that's going to be happening in this video. Uh, I'm not sure anyway. Uh, there's also a, tr a very big tree over there that we can that we can climb up. Um, and, and, and explore up there. That tree, I don't know if it holds anything, you know, good, but, you know. So, guys, the sa as in the same series, the same rules apply. I can only spawn in things with the Heroes mod, that things that you've already seen. I cannot spawn in things you guys haven't seen yet or don't know anything about. Um, I can't, um, I can't spawn in armor, uh, that I'm trying to get. Um, I can't spawn in weapons that I have to that I'm trying to get. The heroes mod is only there for when I don't want to go out and I want to find everything under the wazoo just to make certain things happen. But um, we are going to p um, oh time is already paused. Never mind. But um, we're going to uh, we're gonna mine through this tree and we're going to get to these va uh, vases over here. Um, 
we're gonna get to these vases. We're gonna see what's inside of them. I am so looking forward to this series, guys. So, um, not bad. We're not about off to a bad. We're not off to a bad start or anything. But I am going to engage infinite reach so that I can cut down these trees a little bit faster. Well, a lot faster. There we go. Now, I am going to make our base not as extravagant as the last one was, because that one was hard to maneuver around. I remember I had to teleport everywhere. This is one of the enemies that is that comes with the Calamity mod. It is called a Wolfram Drone. And I believe that when you kill it, it drops something rather unique. It drops wolf Wolfram Shards, and you can make a special set of armor from those. I have played this mod before. I've never gotten all the way through it. But hopefully by doing a Let's Play on it, that will um, change things. This is also a new enemy. That was a Wolfram Slime. Um, they hold the exact same things. So you're going to be running into a lot of those. Um... So, uh, have to, we're gonna kill these slimes, get some more, uh, gel going, um, cause we're going to need it to make torches, and, uh, then we're gonna have to make some stone, uh, stone is going to be really helpful here. So yeah, our character's name is Henry, I just, I wanted to name him Henry the Fishman, but that was a little too extravagant for me. Uh, so, um, so let's come back over here to the Gap. Um, not the clothing store, the actual Gap. Uh, and we're going to start, uh, we're going to build out. Uh, I'm going to take care of these trees so that I can have a bigger house. Okay. Um, I think... Yeah, so now I'm going to... Okay. And we're going to extend this out all the way over here. Actually, no, wait, that's a bad idea. So, yeah, guys, we are not going to be bored with this mod. Something tells me that this Let's Play is going to be longer than our... Uh, previous uh, Terraria Let's Play. That one was only 32 episodes long. I'm thinking that this one's going to be longer because of how much more content we have to go through. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now we can start building. I want this thing to be pretty big. I want us to have a lot of storage space. I want us to be able to put a lot of stuff down. Um, and all of that other stuff. Okay. And I made sure that this was a crimson world because you guys know how much I hate the corruption. <laughs> so now we're going to craft a few torches. Uh, going to craft us a workbench so that we can actually build stuff. Going to craft ourselves a couple of doors. Okay. And then, um, hmm, what else? I do have plenty of wood to make, um, our first armor, um, thing, but I don't think I'm going to make wooden armor. I may have to, but... Um, okay, I am going to make a wooden sword, and I'm also going to make a wooden hammer, and I'm also going to make a wooden bow, okay, uh, now I was kind of thinking that this playthrough I would be like a mage, kind of, because in the previous video I was mainly focused on being a ranger, and being a ranger has several advantages, but uh, you, you do get attacked by ranged attacks a lot, but a mage is a lot like a ranged attacker, so, uh, there's that. Um, so, um, now I'm going to craft some walls. Okay. And we're going to get rid of these blocks. Uh, get rid of those, uh, dirt, uh, okay. 
And now we're going to place the uh, wood walls. Now, I'm thinking that we can use this um, gap to our advantage. Um, of course, I don't know how we're going to do that, but I think I can build us a safe way down there. I can uh, make us a rope that goes down there, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I may have to make some more uh, walls. Now, like I said, this base is not going to be as intricate or complicated as the previous base was. Um, because I actually want to maneuver around it. And I was actually thinking that once we get to a certain point, I maybe I can build like a more permanent base up in the sky. Please let me know what you guys think of that idea down in the comments section below. Okay, I'm gonna need to make some more, um, walls. 60 should be enough. Maybe not. Yeah, I, I'll need a little bit more. Okay, <laughs> just a few more. Okay, so now, um, now what I'm going to do is I am going to craft us, um, I'm going to craft us some platforms because we're going to need those. Okay, and then uh, taking out our wood, we are going to make a second floor. So, what do three? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to be having smaller houses up here. So, uh,. Let me count, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay? So, um, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, let me make sure that's 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so we just need to extend this out just one more. Okay, now that we have that, we can build the wooden platform over here so that we can get up here with ease. And then we are going to break these platforms. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't remember, the standard recommendations for a house is six by is six tiles by ten tiles, um, th which is perfect. Which is this is more than enough. So, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bring this out. Okay. Break all these pieces of wood. I want us to have just enough housing uh, so that we can uh, get a few people in here. Uh, how much is this? One, two, three, four. Um, okay, I'm going to increase the height of this by three. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. So this also means I need to make more uh, walls, but that's okay. Our guide is being massacred. Okay. Okay, gonna come down here and make some more um, walls after I build this platform. Okay. 
I am so excited, you guys. I can't express that enough. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to build down so that we can make room for doors. Okay, do the same thing up here. Okay, let's make let's make us some more doors. Okay, now it's time to light this place up with some torches. Okay, um, we're not done yet. Um, now we're going to make some tables, put those up there, and some chairs. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we now have four spaces adequate for housing and um, we have just started our base for our s for this series guys um, now I'm gonna come out here and I am going to break that door <laughs> of which I did not want to do and we're going to mine out the stone because we're going to need this to make arrows for our bow and to make our furnace Okay, we're gonna we're gonna grab all of this stone. This is a really big vein. Okay. And now we're going to build over this with um yeah, I'm just gonna put uh dirt blocks down. Okay. Now we're going to come back in. Um, we're going to make a furnace. Okay. Um, and then with and then with the stuff that we have left, uh, we can make arrows. Hopefully, yes, right here. Okay. And then we still have plenty of wood left. I am going to make the wood armor because we, we need some kind of defense. Um. Okay. So we have three defense right now. That's going to go up with time. Uh, we're going to keep the fish costume set um, because you know, you know it's imagination. So um, now what? Let's go explore a little bit. See what kind of world we have. Uh, I can mine out this copper. I could use that to make some copper coins to get us some money. Um, and then when we get back to the base. I will um, be able to, um, I will assign our guide one of those houses. Um, I am still contemplating on whether or not to play a mage, but, um, okay, so here's a living tree. We can go down here and there will be some stuff for us to collect. Okay. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. We have some torches. That's nice. Uh, recall potions. We're going to need those until we get our magic mirror. And then, um, 
living wood wands. I don't think I want to take those, but we do need storage. So I'm just going to take them for the heck of it. Um, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to take that. And then there's a chest right here, so I'm going to mine my way in here. And then, uh, to be safe, going to place down some platforms. Okay, and see what's in here. Silver coins, not bad. Lesser healing potions, going to need those. Uh, rope, where is my rope? There it is. And then eight copper bars, grenades, and an umbrella. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna, just going to take this chest. I'm going to light this place up. Ah, it looks like we have ourselves a little bit of a cave system here. And it just leads to a dead end. But at least there are some, th uh, at least there are some uh, pots here that we can open. Which is nice. Yes. Okay. And then... I'm gonna... We're gonna fall down here. A lot of copper in this area. There's some lead. We have a die trader already. Nice. Um, so we're gonna come down here. I'm gonna illuminate this area. Ooh, a life crystal already! <laughs> wow! I'll take that. Nice! We already found our first life crystal. That's not bad. Uh, going to make myself some more torches here. Uh, gonna illuminate this area. Really nothing. There's some tungsten. I may grab that here in a second. Okay. Nothing of interest down here. We're just going to teleport back up. Um, and for the heck of it, I'm just going to mine out this copper. And I'm going to mine out this stone as well. Um, actually, I'm going to take out the wooden bow. I think I may just stick with a ranger class. I may do some magic like I did with our care like I did with Notch in our uh, last Let's Play. Um, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> okay. So, our die trader has moved into that room. So now we're going to um, assign someone to this room. Well, actually, no, wait, I don't have to. Uh, someone's all, the guide has already assigned himself to that room, which is good. Okay. Um, chest. Chest. I can finally do some inventory management. I'm going to put all that stuff in here. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep the fish costume just in case. Uh, I'm going to give him the strange plant. going to put the wolfram shards in there for now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put the copper bars in here as well. Um, and then I'm going to smelt this copper ore. Okay, that just gives us eight more <clears throat> now we have 16 uh, now let's let's go this way a little bit I'm gonna cut down these trees Uh, yeah, we have a lot of trees, so I'm not going to cut all of these down, and we are right next to the crimson. 
Okay, well, now we know what's on that side. So, um, you know, guys, I think we are on a really promising start. We already found us a health, a heart crystal, which I was actually not, um, which I was not expecting. But, um, gonna mine out this lead. And a face monster is making its way towards me. I don't know if I'll be able to fend him off with the stuff that I have. Oh, I think I will. I think I'll be able to. Oh, okay. Well, we were able to fend him off. That's good. Um, I'm going to um, mend this. Okay. Um, I really can't think of anything else to do right now, guys. Maybe go exploring a little bit more. I'll probably do that off camera, though. Um, I'm going to come up with a more efficient way to explore this gap. Uh, the one that I, that for some reason it wants to spawn me into. But, yeah, so I'm going to craft these lead bars real quick. Gonna come over here. I'm gonna put the walls in there the lead bars uh, I'm gonna go plant some more trees because we could we you can never really have enough trees especially in our area okay uh, I don't know if those are gonna grow or not but all we can do is is wait and see uh, I want to go beyond that tree uh, just to finish up this this episode because we're just getting started, and we're not going to see a lot of the really big stuff uh, until a little later on, so... <sighs> and we can use these mushrooms to make healing potions, which is going to be really good for us. So we have a pretty big uh, forest biome, which is good. We're going to need this space for when we uh, want more trees, when we want to plant more trees. Okay. Uh, let's take care of this slime. Okay, get some more Wolfram shards. take care of this slime okay and we are I think we are approaching the desert yes we are and the lag just kicked up that's just because there's a sandstorm so now we know where the, our desert biome is um, and we know where our crimson biome biome is it's over there so that means our jungle is over here um, so I'm going to teleport back to our bath and um, and uh, now we have our um, we have our merchant and we have our we have our um, die trader. We have gotten off to a really good start here, guys. And I I have high hopes for this series, and I really hope that it works out for us. Um, so please, so thank you guys so so much for watching this video. Uh, please leave me a comment down below telling me what you would like me to do in future videos, uh, ideas for our base for this new series. Um, uh, also, be sure to like and subscribe and click that bell notification so that you can stay in the loop of all of the content that I post onto my channel. Um, and without further ado, guys, this is just the Savage, aka the Spectrum Gamer, and I will see you guys in episode two.